Dr. NT here. Some of you have been asking about the getresponsecode.com website. How do you use it? Well, let me show you. Currently, I do not have privilege mode. So let's go ahead and do the 10 tap technique. Find anywhere on this display on the screen where when you click on something, when you touch the screen, nothing happens. So I'll use the, the lower corner right here, the blank corner. Ready? I'll be doing 10 taps, wait seven to eight seconds, and then 10 more taps. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, six, 1,000, seven, 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And there's your privilege mode code, and it's asking me to contact customer care at that number. I will then provide them this code and they'll give me a response code. Well, I'm not calling them. Instead, I will use the getresponsecode.com website to generate a code for me. I'll be right back. Actually, I was gonna do it on my phone. I'll just do it right here. I'll use my floating apps icon. My floating apps should have a web browser. And there's the browser right there. Let's go ahead and use that. The website is https colon forward forward www dot get response oops response code dot com expand this okay it's telling me to get a code so what's my code I'll input that code one five four seven zero five let's move this up here we'll hit submit and that's the code I want to put in there nine nine three nine eight zero nine nine three nine eight zero and we'll submit and i'm in privilege mode see how simple that is and that's how you use the getresponsecode.com website now privilege mode i'm not sure how long it lasts for so there are other steps that you can take if you want to keep privilege mode permanently but for now this will allow you to get into privilege mode. It will allow you to install apps like floating apps, like taskbar, rotation control, and some other apps that you might find useful. If you're interested in keeping privilege mode permanently, shoot me an email at drnt0714 at gmail.com and I'll provide you with some, some steps that are pretty top secret. I try not to divulge them publicly due to the fact that if Nordic Track found out, they might get their engineers to close the loop. So, but if, if you're okay with floating apps and taskbar, then there's no need for that. At least now you know how to get into privilege mode. All right.